to tell you about a hope mural at the Baylor Salmon's Cancer Center. It has a story of its own. In incredible people and an incredible story. This is really all about hope. In fact, it's called the Hope Mural. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, in January um, at age 35. I'm a 15 year, going on a 16 year survivor of, survivor of breast cancer. Thanks to the good Lord and Baylor. Like Picasso around here. Yeah. It's nice to see everybody just coming in and join in. This in its own way is a support group, so you know, every little bit helps. You can just see the emotion in their faces as they're painting, and it's just awesome. Voila! <laughs> Making this horrible journey they're on even a little bit better, and to rep represent that through the arts and having them participate in something normal and outside of the sickness and the illness. Awesome. It was the darker purple, so I did the okay. lighter purple. So I rode the train down from Murphy, and I'm here to paint for an hour or so in honor of my baby girl, as well as my brother who passed away last May from um, leukemia. Oh, beautiful. So you have a lot of um, patients and caregivers and family and friends that come here that are affected with cancer, whether it's themselves or someone that they love. And that's been such an amazing difference from some of the other events that we've had. You know, as a former cancer survivor and a, an administrator and part of the Baylor family, it's truly awesome to have something like this here with us today to be able to honor the cancer survivors, the patients that we treat, and the families that support them. I think patients come to a facility um, expecting excellent care. But it's the care of the soul, the care of the person, that's also important. It's very important in healing. This is actually a lot of fun. I lost my mother-in-law to pancreatic cancer. Uh, and I have to say, I could never tell a mother-in-law joke because she treated me like a son. And so I did this for, for her. And, uh, her name is Bessie Bailey. And uh, my wife and I uh, truly loved and adored her. Anyway, I'm glad we're doing this. It's about touching people's lives. That's right, my friend. It's really actually quite touching to see all these people coming together and doing something unique like this, and it's been really cool to watch.